Hello, welcome to Maddie Makes. Today we'll be spinning up this beautiful fiber that I got from some organ. It was originally a cream colored sheep and I dyed it with black food coloring, breaking black. I used my hand brush technique, which you can see in an earlier video, and then loaded the colors up on the drum carter to have this lovely progression. Oh, it is just, it is soft. Uh, probably somewhere between around 30 microns. And then I did a bonus bat of nothing but the reds because when you break black, yeah, you get mostly red. So I will spin that one up separately. These two bats, I am going to Z strip them out, which I will show you and then spin them the same way onto two separate bobbins and then take the full red one um, and spin it up on its own bobbin and then apply it back on itself and that will be a later video. Now when you Z strip out, just do about an inch to two inches, finer if you want, pull almost all the way to the bottom, leave a little bit, move over twice the width of your original strip and begin pulling again from the other side working your way back down just continue in this manner and then you can adjust the width of your strips if you get into different colors because you might wind up with some blending or you will wind up with some blending which can turn out totally gorgeous but you can color manage as you go. Now look at those different colors in the middle of the bat. You get some darks and some lights going on. Yeah, make sure not to pull all the way through. Let's pull off the last strip here. Go, and I'm going to start from this red side and just pull down just a little bit, drafting it out. This opens up the fibers and lets a little bit more air in. There you go, get a good close up of all those different colors. Careful not to pull too much. Now this has a staple length of around three inches. So depending on the fiber you have, um, keep in mind the staple length so you don't wind up pulling too much. Yeah, if you see any vegetable matter, pick it out as you go. And this is the join, so be careful on the join. You might wind up pulling things both directions in order to uh, get things to line up. Now this should spin up to be a pretty fine, smooth yarn as far as that's concerned. And we're gonna go for a two ply fingering weights. Yep, so the join, pull one way, lay the fiber, figure out which direction the fiber is going, lay it back in. And if you pull them together, they interlace a bit, which gets them to hold. And you continue working your way through, through all the lumps and the bumps. And I'll speed this up and meet you on the other side.
All right, now that we got all that into a lovely ball, we are going to start spinning from this very pale bluey green end. Now I dropped out just a little bit more to get it going. Then we are going to spin with the wheel going in a counter, I'm sorry, in a clockwise direction. Getting the leader yarn through the orifice. Yeah, baby wheel's still down. I got the, the medium whirl on there, and I'm going to the small whirl that is on the, the spool. And everything's in. We are ready to go. And I get plenty of twist into your bead yarn. Through the loop. Sorry, I'm out of a uh, frame here. We'll see you in a second. I'm gonna get a good spin on it to lock this in. Now I'm using a short forward draw that you can't see outside of this video. So, which means I'm just pulling forward just a little bit. Again, keeping in mind of the staple length not pulling out farther than the three inches. Um, or I could just break this, you know, break it and have to rejoin, which is doable. So much easier if it stays together, though. And though it is now nighttime in my house, so I do apologize for the 1970s lighting effects. But this, um, in this video, you can actually see me drawing out the yarn while I'm spinning. So, so I mean by the short forwards draw, even though every once in a while I do a little bit of a backwards draw, which means taking the hand that the fiber is in and pulling it backwards as you know, with the forwards draw, you take your hand that's in the front and pull forward. So basically there it is, and I sped up this footage so this video wouldn't be 40 minutes long. So just sit back and watch the yarn fastly spin onto the bobbin, and I will see you next time on the next episode of Matty Nicks.